Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about the frustrations of Xcode updates. Hey everybody, so today is Saturday and I'm in the office trying to catch up on some stuff I wasn't able to get done during the week, which is nothing new. It's kind of a, a normal thing for me. I'm always seem to be here on a Saturday and frequently on a Sunday too. But today I need to compile some iOS apps. So this is something I've been trying to do all week long, but I've been having this issue over the past few months with iOS crashing. If you were on our live stream last night, I did talk about this, how I prefer to do all the releases of the application. So the developers will code it and they'll test everything. They'll release the test flight versions, they'll release the development versions. But when it comes time to actually go live, I prefer to do that myself or have somebody else do it. If the company was bigger, I would always have somebody else do it. But me, I seem to do it a lot. So my my what I do is I'll, I'll pull the code. So once we tested everything, once we're happy with everything works in depth development and staging, I will pull down the final version from Git. I will deploy it to the, whatever I have to deploy to the server. I will um, compile the application, whether it's React Native or Ionic or Native, right? And sign the application, upload it to the App Store or the Play Store, and then do all the config stuff. So, you know, I do the least fun part of software development or app development, which is just releasing it. So I always know when there's little changes to the app stores and stuff like that. And one of the reasons why I do this, why I prefer to do this myself, is because it helps me make sure that everything is checked into Git, that we're not missing any config files, we're not missing any database schemas, we're not missing any, um, you know, anything, any key store files. We have everything we need just in case the developers, you know, like, like all developers, we're afraid they're going to get hit by a bus. That's what we always talk about. So, so I prefer to do that, and I highly encourage you, if you hire other developers, to do that yourself, right? Unless you're the developer who you know, does everything yourself, then obviously you will deploy to production, right? And one of the reasons I do that is because when I used to work in investment banks, we had a similar schema. As a software developer, they would not let me touch the production server, right? And it was so infuriating because you had to like guide someone else through how to do it, which ports they had to open, which per folder permissions they had to give, all that kind of stuff. And it was very frustrating, but I saw their point. Because a lot of times as a developer, you, you tend to just go, I oh, will just open up security on everything. Just open up every port. Just open up, you know, and um, you know. So I, I don't want any developers going onto to my servers and doing that. So I prefer to do all that stuff myself. And what, like I said, when the company gets bigger, hopefully I'll hire somebody to do that. However, over the past month or so, I've been having issues with iOS compilation. Right? This is like so. When you run your own company, you have all the stresses of running a company. Are we going to make, are we going to have enough money coming in? Are we going to get enough clients? Or is it, are all the clients happy? Are all the developers producing? All that kind of stuff. And on top of that, I've got iOS 13 is crashing my apps for some reason and I can't figure out why it is, right? And you, you go through Stack Overflow, they're saying, oh, all you have to do is you know, uninstall Xcode and reinstall it or you know, go downgrade to the previous version of Xcode or you know, um, you know, go to this, you know, all kinds of stuff, which seems like, you know, it's far too complicated. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Damn it, I'm going to get this thing done, right? It, everything seems to compile in dev mode, but every certificate, no matter which client it's for, seems to just be crashing. And it's frustrating, right? Because the code hasn't changed. Code hasn't changed. It's just something on the platform has changed. And one of my biggest beefs with Apple is that they don't give you a lot of information. It's just like crash, right? There are no pop-ups, no, you know, the error logs are very skimpy, right? So when you look at the console, and it's just, it's just frustrating. It's so, so, so very frustrating. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And I, I, I wanted to bring this up because you know a lot of you guys are app developers or you're app developers, you're thinking about working with clients. It puts you in a difficult situation where you have the code is done, everything's been approved, they're waiting for it to go live, and you just want that do that last little bit, just compiling it and releasing it, and for some reason, it's crashing that you have to like, it's almost like you're trying to say, and a good excuse can't be, iOS is crashing and I have no idea why. It's like, you know, I gotta, so today, I'm gonna get that done. But it's, 
it's something that I think a lot of professions don't understand. We do a lot of problem solving as software developers and stuff that's not that's even out of our control. So there's been an update, there's been a, a, a security patch, there's been something that's caused our code to all of a sudden start failing and we have to figure out or you know our compilation process or whatever to start start failing and uh, and it's up to us to figure out what it is and how to get around it. So Anyway, that's my day. I hope you guys have a fantastic. Let me know if you have a similar things. Like when I mean, I know every time Android Studio comes out, there's issues. Every time there's a new Xcode comes out, which is frequently, there's issues. Tell me about some of the issues you have. Do you have these same kind of things, or is it just me? Or do you think I should just let the developers release these applications? Because it's tempting. It's tempting. Every every time I have a day like today, it's tempting. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you again next time.